that quickly what I got from Target and TJ Maxx. Um, welcome to today's video. I know you guys had last seen um, that I went to TJ Maxx. That Actually, that clothes was bought like two weeks prior filming the video. I just had it there um, in the kids' closets because I had to wash it for us to go to Florida. But I went to TJ Maxx again um, today and I just wanted to show you some things. I'm going to start off with um, the stuff that I got at Target since it's only two things. I have a $10 gift card and then if you spent more than $100, you would get $20 off of your purchase. And then plus like the 5% for using your um, Target credit card. So I, I, um, I saw these on Instagram and I instantly fell in love with them. They kind of give me like... um. A Chanel or Christian Dior vibe because I know there's some more like Chanel because they're quilted um they give me that vibe because they're quilted like those the sandal the material these are the little sandals I got these are so cute they're super comfortable because they're like um contoured like they fit like it goes like with your foot. I don't even know how to explain it. These are super, super cute. Um, if you were to buy like $40 of stuff, like of clothes, um, they would give you um, $10 off. So I got these. They even have them like in this white creamy color and I might get them um, too. Because I did get a, another gift card with this purchase. So I'll use the gift card for those. And then I just wanted to try out some shorts. I've been eyeballing these shorts on the Target app for a while. Um, these and um, some Levi pair. But they didn't have my size in the Levi pair. I honestly don't even know what my size is. I didn't even try them on. I'm going to just try them on here. But these aren't it. They're just simple um, medium wash shorts. Let's see how they fit on. Um, these were $20, but um, since the sandals were $30 and these were $20, it was like $50, but I got $10 off, so it came out to $40. Simple. These are the vintage midi shorts. Hopefully, they're not too short because I do not like short shorts. You know? So, yeah, these are the shorts. And then um, we went to TJ Maxx. I don't know, man. I've been obsessed with TJ Maxx lately. They have everything. I just picked up um, five things from there. Well, six. Um, first is this shirt. This was $9. It's just a t-shirt. I love t-shirts with biker shorts. Um, or even like if, my, if I'm wearing jean shorts and the shorts are a little too short, then I like to wear long shirts on top. So I got this shirt. I already have a shirt kind of similar to this that I got at Target. Um, that is Def Leppard, but I just think it's super basic. This this is something that they would sell at Target. Um, they have a lot of t-shirts at Target, but they're $15 and this was $9. So this was my first purchase. And then I also got this one. I don't know how I feel about this shirt yet. I had an outfit in mind, but I didn't end up getting one of the pieces that I wanted the outfit, um, that I wanted to wear this outfit with, but it's just this ACD shirt, like tank, muscle, I don't know, what is this called? Muscle shirt? Not muscle shirt. Yeah, I think it's a muscle shirt. We'll see how this looks. Um, just simple. If not, it's something that I could wear here at home. <laughs> and then I also got this blouse this blouse was oh the acd shirt was ten dollars and then this blouse was 13. this is more for like going out really really cute dark blue with white flowers and then i don't have any more shirts that are like to go out with i own a lot of t-shirts um, and then I got this one. This one was 13 as well. Just 
kind of it's like leopard super flowy super cute super lightweight and then i got these these were 13 hopefully these fit me i love biker shorts and if these are something that i could these are shorts that i could wear at home they're just this i've been really into this like waffle i don't even know what it's called i keep saying waffle like knit material they're just these nude shorts biker shorts i wanted to pair these shorts oh my god you scared me biggie you want to say hi oh my god he need a haircut he really needs a haircut he's he's not stinky but jesus he really needs a haircut okay that's enough um oh you brought in all this stuff in sir these with this the acd shirt and then like this white blazer i should have just gotten it it was like 15 dollars. it was on sale it was like originally 45 dollars, and it was, on, it was on clearance for 15 but i was like it's hot it's not even cold outside and urban's like it's gonna get cold um that's what i got from tj maxx and one last thing i got when i was checking out in the little aisle that gets everyone i got a jump rope why i have no idea i know that jump roping is very good like with when it comes to like cardio so i'm gonna try jump roping every day and see what happens i don't know if i'm gonna be committed so that's everything that i got at target i'm gonna try to continue recording um keep this video going before i get discouraged but yeah I will see you guys, I don't know when, next time. today to talk on the video it's been raining raining really bad over here um and my husband's off today so i just took the time to clean up as much as i can take advantage of the fact that he's home i'm currently eating taking a lunch break it is two o'clock um my husband's outside now it's actually power washing one of uh, my rugs i have a rug in the laundry room um so he was doing that and i just put some piagua down for a nap and then sebastian just finished eating and i'm about to eat i made whole wheat um rotini with um is it rayo's i think it's rayo's marinara sauce with mushrooms and zucchini and turkey meatballs so i'm gonna just eat this but um what was I gonna say? I'm get, I'm putting together a donation um pile. I am going to go take everything to Goodwill today, hopefully today, while baby naps. Because I just have so much junk. There's so much junk in the house. And I'm just trying to keep it minimal, keep it clean. Because we just keep adding junk to the to the junk. Was it yummy? <laughs> Y'all should see how it is. 
Mm. So good. But that's what's been happening over here. Just cleaning mode on a Monday. On a rainy Monday. And so yeah, hopefully I will take it with me to the road to go drop off. I just laid Santiago down and he's calling me. I don't know, he's, he's calling me. He's jumping the, the crib. I honestly think it's time to, I mean, it's been time. We were supposed to get him a, like a toddler bed when he started jumping the crib um, for safety reasons. I'm gonna go get him real quick because he's starting to pull out his toys. I'll be back. Anyways, we were supposed to get him a toddler bed when he started jumping the crib, but we haven't. I haven't gotten to it. Um, I've been looking for one. Um, I found one on Amazon, so I might order that soon because he really needs a big boy bed. He's calling me again. It is two o'clock. He does not want to take a nap. He's getting to the age where he does not want a nap anymore. Oh, excuse me. You're gonna need a serious bath today. You're gonna need a very serious bath after this pasta. Waterloo, delicious. Watermelon. Very good. So yeah, I'm gonna finish eating my meal and hopefully the next time you see me will be on my way to Goodwill. Say hello bud. I just had some, I just had some yummy pasta. I just had some yummy pasta. Right, that does. Yeah. Bye. Can you say bye? Bye. Oh, okay. Thanks so much for going to Goodwill. The box of my like donation pile is sitting in my hallway floor. I think that was the last thing I said I was gonna do. I was gonna go and take y'all with me to Goodwill. I haven't even done that. And today is already Thursday. I think that was Monday. Sometimes like I forget that I'm even recording or I forget where I left off. So yeah, it's like three days later. Uh, the kids and I are both on our way to go meet up a friend for a mommy day at a park. I really needed to get out of the house, honestly. Um, I don't know. I, I just woke up in a funk. I'm exhausted. Yesterday was such a bad night for all four of us. So I really told Urban, like, I need to go and get out, get some fresh air. And that's that I went to the park this morning. Um, I took the kids for a walk around my neighborhood park because I woke up feeling just out of it but my friend um, texted me and asked if we wanted to join her and her son for the park which I'm all up for um, I love taking the kids out of the house as much as I can because I don't um, often during the week so we're gonna go to the park um, and honestly I don't have anything else planned today maybe just um, go return the shorts at Target um, I showed them earlier this video those shorts did not they fit but they didn't fit the way I like them to fit and they're very short so they're definitely gonna go back to the store I'm gonna see which um, Target has the Levi mama, mama, shorts that I want um, mommy, I'm gonna swap mommy, them for the Levi's mommy, mommy. yes Dada I'm recording a video uh -uh. huh video? you don't want video uh -uh. okay uh, 
so I'm gonna see which Target near me has those Levi pair of jeans that I want, um, pair of shorts that I want, and I'm gonna return them for that. up two shirts from Target. I originally went to go return um the shorts, but I was I was looking for a shirt this color um so it could match some pair of Nike's that I have. It just has like four Hawaiian looking um flowers. It's kind of cropped. Um we'll see how that fits. And then this one was randomly thrown. I saw the price and I was like I want it. It was $3. Um, it says Nor? Is it Nor? Noir? I think it's Nor Icon. No idea what this means. And when I saw the tag, I saw that it was a clothesline that was owned by two black women. So I bought it. It's just a t shirt. So yeah. That's pretty much everything that I got at Target. Today has been such a long day. Like I felt like today dragged. I guess just because I literally didn't have a second to sit down. I was just on the go or I was just busy here at home. Um, so I'm gonna do just a quick story time um, of something that happened earlier. So I went to Target, whatever, right? As y'all saw. Um, got coffee there's a starbucks across the street so it got matcha actually and um i'm driving you know home and i see a food truck in front of me and that food truck parks um uh, to sell like at a nearby park that's right there so i'm thinking that you know he was on his way home uh from selling and um he, we're at the red, we're at a red light right so he's in front of me and then it's me and we're at the very left because we're gonna turn left right so we're on the left lane gonna turn left i was on that we were on the access and i was gonna turn left and i'm just there drinking my matcha at the red light and i kind of pulled up a little bit to go see like his prices of like the food he sold and i was looking and so then tell me why there's a lane next to me, right? And that lane also is to turn or is to go straight. And then the far, you know, the farthest lane is to go straight only or to turn right. So I'm there drinking my matcha, enjoying the beautiful weather um, with all the windows down. And this truck, I, I don't know where the truck came from ends up hitting the ends up hitting the truck that's next to me at the red light okay so this is me and there's a truck next to me and we're both you know at the red light and I'm, I'm the kind of person that once a car pulls next to me I'll pull forward right because I don't like to be at a at an eye level with them like it, I'm just that kind of girl like I don't want to see who's next to me. I don't care. Um, so the car pulled next to me and I kind of just turned and it was, I saw like an older man and I just pulled forward and out of nowhere, this truck hits the poor man next to me and the man hits the food truck in front of me. And the truck that hits the man next to me has his foot on the gas for like a whole minute doing like a burnout like burning tire and i was like and the poor man like was just in his car like behind the like diagonal to the food truck because the food truck was in front of me like not like he couldn't go because he was like stuck and this truck is just going at it for a whole minute now my husband says that that happens or they do that when they're like in shock um, like that they had just crashed or that either the truck got stuck 
on like the gas pedal or he was drunk and basically he was drunk um this man that got off to kind of check on me was like that guy's drunk and like you can tell he was drunk because once he realized that he like crashed or whatever he put his truck in reverse and just like reversed all the way back and he ended up hitting like the like the side i don't know what it's called like the sidewalk like he tailgated it really bad and as soon as i heard the the like the the hit my first reaction was get out like get out and turn so i'm in the left lane right all next to me is like the side of the highway and like grass so what i my instinct was swerve and go into the grass so that's exactly what i did i threw my truck to the grass and thank god we did not get hit i feel like if i were to scoot up a little bit even closer to look at the menu of, of or the prices on the food truck the poor man that was next to me would have also hit my front you know because he like diagonally hit the food truck like this so i was trapped behind i'm gonna insert some like video um that i was able to record because i was going to show my my parents and my husband um i'm gonna insert that now So like I didn't really get to record a lot like I just kind of recorded some to show my husband but I'm basically like stuck behind the food truck and this poor man like this like I'm behind but on the grass so I was the first thing that came to my head was like are my kids okay like are my kids scared like I you know like are we okay so we were fine thank god like nothing happened to my kids like Santiago saw everything obviously because the windows were down so he saw everything and he would tell you right now with the with the with like the little that he talks he'll just say like all the noises he heard so it was just so scary like it was just like in a minute of seconds like I was just sitting there drinking my matcha and there was like a full-blown accident next to me there was a bunch of people that stopped on the highway on top um, to look down to see the accident and there was like all these cars getting off asking if everybody was okay like the you saw the poor man got off his truck he was saying that his back hurt and then the other man he was like he was drunk um there was a time where he was like trying to slam his doors shut there's like the sweet guy also that got off and he's like ma'am like are you okay um were you involved and i'm like no like i'm not involved i just swerved to the grass to get out of the way He's like, do you want me to stop traffic for you so you can get out of the get out of the scene? And I'm like, yes. So that's the man that y'all saw that is there, like telling me to go. And I'm like, thank you. It was just so crazy how it just happened, and I'm just so blessed and thankful that I was not involved, that I was able to swerve and get out of there, um, because it was very scary. Honestly, very scary the way it sounded, and then the man was just pressing on his gas for like a whole minute. I don't know he was probably like in shock I'm, I'm guessing or it was just he was just so drunk and it, this was like at seven o'clock like i guess he had just got it out of work because he was like in a work truck like that man's truck was like totaled like done like all the fluids were like all over the floor but anyways i just wanted to tell you how that went and i just wanted to wrap up the video here i know the video was just all over the place sometimes i even forget what i record during the week um i even rec forget i even forget sometimes to end the videos so yeah thank you very much for watching this week's video uh is there if there's something that you want to watch in particular comment below thank you to everyone that has watched my videos um i see the views um i thank you so much from the bottom of my heart this is something that i do for fun um just to kind of like get me distracted just for my everyday life because I am a stay at home mom so it kind of gets overwhelming sometimes so me recording kind of is like a escape for me so 
thank you very much to like the new people that have subscribed and the comments i read them and i'm just so happy that you guys are here and yeah with that being said thank you for watching this video also if you made it this far if you subscribe that would help this channel grow um yeah i will see you guys on next week's video bye